Hi, my name is Mark and I'm from Napoleon. I'm here today to talk to you about our LE485. This is uh, the top model of our LE series. So why don't we just get right into it. This is our uh, beautiful stainless steel 304 lid. Having a 304 stainless steel lid is very important because you want to have, this is what everyone looks at right when they come in and, looks at, and look at your barbecue. Um, when you take and you actually lift up the lid, you can feel the weight of it. It's not just a light barbecue. This is a heavy duty lid. On the inside, we actually have a double lined lid. So this is really good for a few different purposes. It keeps your heat in when your lid is closed, which is important. You don't want to be having to constantly be reheating your grill every time you open it. So your, your heat stays in where it's supposed to stay. Um, and also, it won't discolor your lid. So when it has all that immense amount of heat, when you get your 500, 600, 700 degrees pounding on it, it's not going to be showing through, which is important. You want your grill to look beautiful for a long time. Another thing to mention about this lid here is we actually have an AccuProbe temperature gauge. Now this temperature gauge is very important and a lot of people don't generally think about it. Why it's so important is the fact that you want your temperature to be so accurate because if you need to be cooking your ribs or your pulled pork or something like that at 325 degrees, you can set this thing at 325 degrees and you know it's going to stay there and you know that it's reading the temperature accurately. Very important for any grill. From there we'll look at our cast aluminum end caps. These are great end caps, they look good, um, and we actually have a design on the side of it that is uh, Napoleon, so when someone sees that end cap, they're going to know that it's a Napoleon lid. Um, it's made of cast aluminum, so this cast aluminum is used for a few different reasons. Its most important reason is rigidity. So when you lift your lid, you're not actually going to be able to see it bending too much when you, when you lift it. When you lift some lids and you lift them from the, you know, the sides, you can actually see it starts to bend that's not going to happen. This is meant to keep your grill balanced yet rigid at the same time. So when we look on the inside of the grill we have porcelain we have porcelain coated uh, grids here for you. What's really nice about these grids is they're heavy, they're going to last a long time, but what's really nice about them is that they're actually um, reversible. So if you're going to be cooking your chicken or something you really want to keep moist, you cook on this side. So you flip both your grids over, you cook on here, and it actually has a channel right on the inside of it. And this channel, your juices, if you're cooking a chicken breast on it, your juice will actually sit in there and it won't, you won't be losing your juice right away. And then eventually it will make its way down there and, and run off the grid. This is really great if you're cooking your chickens. From there, we have stainless steel sear plates. There is a lot of heat that is coming out of this grill. Um, the stainless steel can hold up better than some other materials, so you need to have stainless steel in your grill as often and as many places as possible, and this is a very important place. The next and the most important place to have stainless steel in your grill is your uh, burners. Your burners in this grill, there's three of them, three bottom burners, and it is 304 stainless steel with a heavy gauge stainless steel. So this can actually withstand up to some pretty intense temperatures, and you're not going to be running through your burners, they're not going to burn out after a year or two. These are meant to be lasting you 5, 10, 15 years. We don't want this just to be a throwaway and having to repair it every time you look. From there, we actually have um, uh, uh, our warming rack. Now this warming rack is something that's a little bit different. The warming rack is meant to you know, warm your breads, warm your buns and that kind of thing. But what you can actually do is a few unique unique things you can try. So now what, have I, what I've actually done is if you take um, a chicken leg, you line your chicken legs on here, you don't actually have to turn them. You turn your grill on and you let them cook up there nice and slow and they taste as tender as can be. I, I recommend trying that. It tastes phenomenal. One other thing I do want to mention because this is our LE 485, the 485 stands for our primary cooking surface. So there's 485 uh, inches of cooking surface here. So that's enough to feed your parties if you're entertaining. Um, it's something that you want to have a big surface if you're going to be cooking for 10 people. You need to have that room. One other thing that I'm going to mention about our grids here, and what you can notice, is that it is actually a wave grid. So the reason why we do a wave grid, it is patented, it's trademarked, this is Napoleon. You're only going to see this in a Napoleon. If you were to actually straighten out all these rods here, they would actually go out another inch or so. The reason why we do that yeah, it, it's for look and it looks different. But when you put your steak or you put your chicken on there, more of the cooking grid is actually touching your food. So it's going to help sear the food that much faster. And that's something that you want and we're going to get into the searing in a little bit. So as you can see at the back of our grill here, there's a rotisserie infrared burner. 
The rotisserie infrared burner is meant for your rotisserie style chickens or roasts or turkeys or anything like that. What I've done with this is when I put my rotisserie chicken on there, I put it, it takes about say 45 minutes to about an hour. And what you can do is you turn your burner on there, I generally put it about halfway, and I put a pan under it. And the reason I put the pan under it is so I can catch the drippings. They're not going down into your barbecue, sitting there ready for a grease fire to happen. You don't want that to happen. So that's what's really nice about this, because when you're rotisserie cooking over just your bottom burners, you're going to get a lot of flare-ups. With a rear burner, that avoids the issue altogether. Now one other thing that I should mention about this is that this uh, is a very evenly heated barbecue. The reason it's evenly heated is for a few reasons. You're not just going to be cooking your hot dogs, hamburgers. This is for a serious griller who wants to try some different things. So if you want to try baking bread, if you want to try doing cookies, or if you want to try pizza, you can actually do that in here. And that's one thing that Napoleon strives for is we want the most uh, evenly heated barbecue possible. From there, we're going to move over to our side burners. Our side burner that we have in here is an infrared side burner. Now what's really unique about a Napoleon infrared side burner is that it gets from zero to 1500 to 1800 degrees in about 45 seconds, which is a phenomenal temperature. Now the reason why you want your temperature to get that high is for searing your steaks or searing some of your other um, foods like your pork tenderloins or pork chops or something like that. So what I do is when I take about a one inch thick steak, I put it on the infrared burner for say a minute and a half on one side, flip it over, minute and a half on the other side, and then from there I move it over to my regular burner and I cook it at a slower temperature. So why, why you do that is because you're searing the juices in. Some of the top restaurants in the world, some of the top steak restaurants in the world, are searing it with an overbroiler. Searing is the most important feature when it comes to, to a delicious steak. So, when you sear it, it actually will lock in those juices, close the pores, and it'll be that much juicier, tastier, tender, and overall just delicious. Now with this, it's not just, not just for searing your steaks or searing your other foods, it actually is for um, other uses. So if you want to saute some mushrooms or vegetables, you have a wok, if you want to boil water, you can still do that. We have the two positions. The down position is for using your pots and pans. Now one thing that I do want to mention about our side, uh, side shelf as well, there's a towel rack. So if you're anything like me, if you're cooking ribs and you get saucy, you don't want to be wiping them on your pants, on your shirt, you, have a, you, know, you can put a towel here and you're able to wipe your hands. We also do have on each side a, uh, to a tool hanger, so there's two different spots, so you can hang your, your, your tongs, you can hang your spatula or anything else that you're going to be using. Now if we move over to the other side of the grill here, you can see that we have a cutting board, so this is if you want to do your vegetables or potatoes, but we also have an ice bucket. Now this is great if you're an entertainer, if you love to have your friends and family over for, for meals, you can actually put ice in here, fill it with refreshments, fill it with your sauces, your ketchups, that kind of thing. Um, and it's just a little bit more accessible, gets people outside, gets people enjoying the barbecue, because you want this to be the focus of everyone's attention. So from there, we're going to move to our control panel. Now our control panel is, uh, it, it's a nice looking control panel, it's got five knobs. That's for the three bottom burners, the one infrared side burner, and the infrared rear burner. Now if you see, we have a, a button right here, and this is actually for a light. So for the inside of your grill, if you're doing nighttime entertaining, you can actually see what you're doing, you can actually see how well done or not well done it is. It makes grilling just that much easier for you. And if you actually look at the knobs as well, we have something called eye glow. Now this eye glow, it actually has a blue light that is behind your knob. And when you turn it, it actually turns on. And when you turn it down, it actually dims as well. So it just makes that nighttime entertaining a little bit more fun. Now if the other thing you notice, right when I turned, you could hear that noise. That is our jet fire ignition. The jet fire ignition is great because you don't have an igniter that you're going to have to keep replacing the battery. This is an igniter that is going to be constantly work. Every single time you turn it, it ignites it. It has the gas flowing and it lights your burner every time. So that is a really neat feature as well. Now if we move down the barbecue, you see we have stainless steel doors. Now these stainless steel doors are nice. It really completes the look of your stainless steel lid, your stainless steel side shelves, your stainless steel control panel, and now you've got your stainless steel doors. It just makes it look like that ultimate grill. And when you look inside of it, it's We've got room for your propane tank and room for anything else that you need. So if there is going to be uh, wood chips or if you don't have room for some more towels or paper towels, 
you're going to have room to be able to store some of your things there. Now one other thing that we do is our barbecue on the sides, on the bottom, is not actually painted steel. A lot of barbecue manufacturers use painted steel. So what we actually use is we use galvanized steel and we powder coat it. Now the reason we do that is because it's going to make your, the base, it's going to make your sides last a lot longer than just five years. We want this thing to be lasting you five or ten years or 15 years or 20 years. This isn't meant to be something you're going to throw away. So that is our LE series in a nutshell. Um, this is a beautiful looking grill and I uh, hope you enjoyed it.